Okay, so these are the pins that I made. Today I'm going to cast some pin blanks that um, are going to be made up of choya skeletons. And that's this little piece of wood right here. Uh, that we have choya plants up in the high desert in California. And when they die, uh, the woody, woody substance of them looks like this skeleton in the center here. And uh, this remains. So you have to sort of get rid of all of the stickers that are on it and stuff before you, you know, get to this point and find one that's already been out there for quite a while and it, uh, all of the exterior falls off. So I've gotten these choya skeletons. I've cut them up into small pieces to fit inside my pen blanks here. And I'm gonna get started with making some pen blanks. Now I'm gonna make two red ones and two green ones. Uh, they're gonna be for dragon pens. I'm gonna have green and yellow gold. Uh, it's gonna be the accent color. And then I'm gonna have red with bronze as the accent color. So, so far, I have all of my colors laid out here and set up in my containers. I've glued down uh, each of these choya plants into the mold here. And I already have my measuring cup marked, uh, the measurements that I need. And I got my resin right here ready to pour. So I'm gonna start pouring that and getting that all together to make these molds. Okay, these pen blanks have been in the pot overnight, so let's check them out. All right, so here they are. We did two of them with the red and gold and two of them with the green and, uh, what was it, yellow? Can't remember the exact colors, but let's, let's see what these look like. Oh, yes. So the, again, these are being used for dragon pens and um, so I wanted to give it sort of a, well, the red ones, I wanted to give it a lava feel, which these definitely have that, no doubt about that. And the green is just a cool design with a little bit of a lava feel, like a earthy lava, I guess it would be. I don't know. Uh, those came out really nice. I like the separation. So it's funny when you have the colder colors with the warmer colors on the pigments, and maybe this is just my imagination, but it seems like they separate more, or maybe it's a more noticeable separation between the two um, than it is with the warm color and warm color. So this was the bronze and green. This was the yellow and red. Um, love the way all of these look, actually. These all look really good. So. We'll get these turned for some dragon pens, but um, again, these are using the choya plant branches in here, and uh, they're basically along this length here, about this long because it's generally about how long the pen is. 
and um, we'll see exactly how this all looks once it's turned. Okay, so these are the pens I made from the Choya uh, skeletons, and you can see that they create a very cool design, especially when you look at the close-ups of them. These are the green and bronze color that I mixed up with the epoxy. So if you're looking for a unique pin blank uh, to cast, uh, the Choya skeletons are pretty good, and they're pretty easy to find. Uh, you're out in the desert walking around, they're all over the ground. You don't want to grab a live Choya plant because that's going to hurt, number one. But also the dead choyas, uh, you make sure the skeletons have eroded all of the skin off so that you don't have any of the stickers left. And then you just have this woody uh, substrate, I guess would be the word for it, uh, underneath. So these came out really cool. I'm probably going to be doing some more choya plants. I probably have maybe 10 pieces cut up to size ready to go. And if you like this video, please subscribe and please like. And don't be afraid to leave any comments down below. I love hearing from you guys, especially if you have some ideas on how I can improve on this. I'd really appreciate to hear that. So I hope to have you watch me in my next video. Thanks for watching this one. Mm -hmm.